weaving the magic of the fall season into your DIY Thanksgiving card with calligraphy is so easy. I give stroke by stroke instructions for drawing five autumn leaves from the simplest to the most complex. On this card, we will have the words Happy Thanksgiving surrounded by four leaves. For each leaf, we will always start with a stem. Then we draw in the outline of the leaf. And lastly, the ribs. Let's draw together. Now prepare your drawing supplies. Pencil and eraser. I'm also using the Tombow Mono Twin. It's such a convenient two-in-one option where the thicker pen is going to be used for the leaf stem and outline and the thinner side for the leaf ribs. For the first leaf, let's start with the stem. This is going to be a curve upwards to the right. You can also slant the leaf a different direction if you choose. Now just above the start of the stem, you will start drawing a rounded curve that ends just above the stem. Next, you draw a mirror image of that rounded curve on the other side of the leaf stem. Now you get a leaf with a pointed tip. And then we take our marker and outline the drawing. Congratulations, you drew the first leaf. Now, let's take it up a notch. Start again with the stem. For the leaf outline, we will start again above the start of the stem, but this time, we will round out the curve at the tip before bringing it back near the base of the stem. We're using this leaf outline only as a guide. Now with our marker, we will be drawing ripples using the leaf outline as a guide or giving us a sense of direction all around. The points of the ripples will guide us as to where the leaf ribs will be. Now using the smaller pen tip, start the base of the leaf rib from the stem and end it near but not touching the leaf outline. Alright, you learn to draw one more leaf. I've got another three to show you and it's going to be so fun. Now for the rest of the leaves, you are going to have more main ribs. Start as usual with the main stem. Now, Draw a curve intersecting the main stem. The lower part will be shorter than the upper part. Repeat the mirror image on the other side of the leaf stem. Using the ribs as a guide, you will draw the leaf outline which has 5 points corresponding to the 5 ribs. It's like our first leaf combined together in different sizes. Now use a thicker pen tip to draw your leaf outline. With the thinner pen, you can draw the smaller veins. For our fourth leaf, the ribs will be slightly different from our third leaf. There's going to be a V-shaped line. And also a bow-shaped curve intersecting the stem. Now we add the leaf outline. It's not going to be a smooth curve, but you're going to have some points that have kinks on the outline as you draw along the rib. In between any two ribs, you'll be drawing a valley curving towards the intersection point. The highest point of the leaf outline for each rib should be where the rib ends. 
Repeat the same process for all the leaf sections. Now, take your marker and create the leaf outline. Don't be afraid to draw the outline slightly off from your pencil version if you want to refine your drawing. Now, when you draw the ribs outline, make sure that they correspond to the highest point of the leaf section. With a smaller pen tip, do flicks starting from each rib for the leaf veins. How are you following along? <laughs> I hope you're doing really well. Last but not least, for our fifth leaf, we are increasing the number of leaf ribs to seven. Don't worry, we're just incorporating what we did for the third and fourth leaves. You got this. Start again from the main stem. Do a cross or X shape just like you did for the third leaf. Now we also add a V shape like what we have for our fourth leaf. That's it, that makes seven ribs. Like for our third leaf, we are going to be doing a pointed leaf outline for each rib. But we'll be using that just as a guide and we'll create a variation of it. Along the leaf outline, you will create a zigzaggy curve with the highest point corresponding to each rib. Seven ribs, seven leaf sections. Once you have drawn your leaf outline with your marker, you can draw in the stem and ribs. With the finer tip marker, use that to fill in the leaf veins. Ta-da! You have just learned to create five leaf drawings. Now start from the stem, Figure out how many ribs it has, the type of leaf outline you like, whether it's smooth or jagged or wavy, and then fill in those leaf veins. Those are the basics that you need to start on your own variations of the leaf that you have learned today. So if you found this helpful so far, do like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now that we know how to draw our leaves, we are now going to design a whole card. I'm going to section the card so that the middle part is going to be the calligraphy part and the four leaves are going to be all around. Now with a pencil and ruler, I'm dividing the card into three horizontal sections. I'm selecting a light brown colored brush for our lettering of the phrase Happy Thanksgiving. I want my lettering to be nearer to the right of the card so that there is more space for the leaves but you can choose it to be in the middle too. It's really up to you. Because of how I'll be doing the ligature, joining the beginning letters of each word, I'll be doing the calligraphy of the word Thanksgiving first. So see here, I'm leaving the bar of the letter T for much later so that I can link it to the word happy. When you're doing a downstroke, increase pressure on the pen tip so that you get a thicker line. And when you do an upstroke, Decrease the pen pressure so that you get a thinner line. This will give you the characteristic thick and thins of brush pen calligraphy. Now if you need the basics of doing brush pen calligraphy, I have a playlist linked here as well as a playbook that takes you through how to get started. 
You'll also notice how I leave the stem and the loop of the first letter G in Thanksgiving for much later because I wanted to see how the overall composition looks like first. For the first word, happy, to create more breathing room for the letters, I'm lettering the later part of the word where there is enough space for the stem of the two piece. So you'll see that I start drawing them in between the K and S of the word Thanksgiving. Then I go back and fill in the A and the H. Because I want to create a ligature that links the T in Thanksgiving and H in Happy, I'm tracing out the curve for the H stem and then I'm turning my paper so that I can better link the crossbars together. Now finish the stem and the loop for G because now you have a better idea of what the ligature looks like because I want to have some mirroring elements just to make the whole thing look cohesive. Now it's time to draw our leaves across the card. Draw in the biggest leaves first and use the smaller leaves to fill in the gaps. Because the calligraphy is more towards the right of the card, for overall balance, I'll create more of the bigger leaves on the left. Just like I showed you earlier, I will start with a pencil and only later draw in using the marker pen. I also like having some of the leaves on the edges of the paper, so it looks like some of the leaves are cut off. Now unlike the leaf drawing exercise that we did earlier, you will want to vary the direction of the leaves so it's just as if the leaves are being scattered across the page. Similarly, I will use the bigger pen tip for the stem, the ribs, and the leaf outline. Then I use the final tip pen for our leaf veins. I'll be using watercolour pencils for colouring but you can go ahead and use any other colouring supplies that you're comfortable using. For the fall theme, we will pick browns, reds, oranges and some green hue. My personal preference is to have a main colour for the inside of the leaves and to have the edges in yellows, browns and oranges. Now that I have coloured in the leaves, I'm using a brush dipped in water to blend the colour in the leaves. Start by blending similar colours together, like doing all the reds together, but you can also try blending different coloured leaves together to see if that's an effect that you will like.
Our card is now complete. Aren't you loving all the fall vibes? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing about Thanksgiving. Now, if you love doing DIY, I'll be sharing more videos related to Christmas on making cards, envelope addressing, ornaments for home decoration, and gift wrapping on this channel in the coming few weeks. So do look out for that and remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are updated. Enjoy the fall season and have a meaningful Thanksgiving celebration.